flower, so let's cool it down a little. She still wants sympathy, Ken. Well, you know where you find sympathy in a dictionary, don't you? Between shit and suicide. They live in a very insulated little world here. Newcomers are a threat. Especially newcomers with grandiose ideas. What's so grandiose about teaching? It's been tried before. There's not a school in the country that'll accept teachers in wheelchairs. For that reason, paraplegics and quadriplegics can't even apply for a teaching certificate. That's not fair. Sure it isn't fair. But the outside world assumes that if your toes have gone numb, your brains have gone numb too. Consequently, there's a lot of lost potential. People who swallow defeat because it's being stuffed down their throat so hard that if they don't, they'll suffocate. Why hasn't it happened to you? Well, in some ways, I have it easier than they do. They're all permanent cripples. You gonna walk again? No. I'm gonna die. They give me a year to live. So time is very precious to me. I can't afford to waste any of it. What do you do? What do with your time? I go to school. UCLA. I'm working on my master's. Are you going to finish? It's going to be close. What are you going to do? What do you mean? I mean, when are you going to start to school? They wouldn't accept me. My high school grades were lousy. Let me tell you something. When the body goes, the mind can compensate. Do you understand that? Like a blind man whose sense of hearing suddenly grows sharper. Yeah, I know that. But how are they going to know? Because I'm going to tell them. I recommended Audrey Joe and Cookie. I can do the same for you. I might lay you down. My brain has always been the weakest muscle in my body. Stretch it. Exercise it. Put the damn thing into training then. Okay. Say okay. Okay. You? Yeah. Ugh. Here, rip. Okay. You ready? I'll take your purse. How are we ready? <laughs> Who am I supposed to be, Tarzan? Now, the registry office is right down the end there, and you turn right. See those pillars down there? Take the purse. Great. Come on, splinter ass. Now, yeah, Cookie, this is dead weight. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> now, don't panic. There's got to be a way out of this. Speak to me. <laughs> The freak show? We had a charge for this. <laughs> Contrary to much popular thought, and what I myself was taught uh, when I was learning about the eye, the eye is not camera scanning material. That's the important point. Seed information in the brain. Form or isolated words Actually, you have to. that makes a probable estimate. The way we found that out was a man by the name of Goldstein took a small tube, opaque, on the sides, and glued it. Once there was a turkey, <laughs> and his name was Timothy Tom Turkey. The most significant thing that began to happen was the children. There were dozens at CRC, and I found myself drawn to them. They to me. Consequently, Timothy Tom got very skinny. But the Thanksgiving time, when everybody goes out to get their turkeys, 
nobody wanted Timothy Tom and let him run wild. When you do a term paper, you gotta write like a writer. Make every sentence say exactly what you mean. If you got a big idea, then you write a big sentence. If not, don't. Simple. You're right. It does look like Boquet. But it's pronounced Bouquet. I like Boquet better. <laughs> so do I. But if you say it like that, nobody's going to know what you're talking about. Why don't they write it the right way? Because they're trying to trick us. You know what I mean? You know something, Jill? I wish you were my teacher. You know something, Matt? I wish I were, too. Don't do it, Jill. What have I got to lose? Faith in mankind. Would you like to get your teeth kicked in? I can kick back. I can tell you what he's going to say right now. I'll get it firsthand. You people are an inspiration to me. An absolute inspiration. You people are an inspiration to me. An absolute inspiration. The way you carry on in the face of these handicaps uh, just makes me feel very small indeed. We were talking about a teaching certificate. Yeah, I know. I'm afraid it would be a waste of your time. I can't let you do it. I have all the time in the world. Well, it's my responsibility to teach you something that you can do. I can teach. I know it. No school will take you. Not without a teaching certificate. Of course they won't. It's not the certificate. I mean, be realistic. It's your... It's your handicap. At this moment in my life, my only handicap is you. I want you to know I understand how you feel. I'm a man who, who likes challenges himself. And what challenges are those? Well, my position here. But that was a considerable challenge. Why is that? Well, I had to work. And very hard. Do you know what it's like to struggle to pick up a piece of jello? Try it sometime without any hands. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Have you ever tried to slide onto a toilet seat without the use of your legs? Not knowing whether you were on or off? Because you couldn't feel the porcelain underneath your butt? Miss Kinmont. Don't patronize me. I'm only trying to make the point that... Have you ever had an itch on your nose, but you can't reach up to scratch it? That's enough. Oh, no, it's not enough. You want to hear about challenges? I'll tell you the meaning of the word. All right, now you've made your point. Let me make mine. Paraplegics are unacceptable as teachers at any school in this country. Until you find one that will hire you, I cannot allow you to study for a teaching certificate. Can I hold you to that? Till hell freezes over. The one thing I knew about that no one else did was the Indian school back home in Bishop. I went there immediately, arguing that if they needed qualified teachers, they'd have to take me as I was. What did they say? They said yes. They'll take her as a teacher. <laughs> it was the beginning, the start of a new existence. I could rely on myself again.